been on the road for a couple hours already. Started again when it was dark, which it is in winter time a lot, anyways. Uh, you know, but uh, hey, here we are. We're rolling down the road. I am uh, a little bit away from uh, Rochelle, Illinois. Probably go uh, fuel up over there and uh, figure out. Uh, they have a hair salon in there, you know. Maybe uh, I'll go see if they're open. If they're open already, I'll probably go get me a haircut. And you can see uh, I'm due for a haircut. And then uh, probably go shave and take a shower and grab me a bite to eat and all that fun stuff, you know. It's, uh, it's a life of a trucker, you know. Uh, we have to do everything on the road pretty much, you know, a lot of times uh, if you want to be home for a weekend, well, then you can't really do anything on the weekend for, for that part, you know, most hair salons are closed on the weekend, at least in my little town that I live in, so uh, for me it's nice to see if a uh, truck stop has a hair salon in there and then I can go and get my hair taken care of, you know, while I'm on the road. Or, you know, a lot of places they have washer machine and dryer machine to take care of your laundry and stuff like that. So, you know, uh, at least that's nice of the truck stops to have. And, uh, so, yeah, I will, uh, I'll go do that. Probably fuel up first and then go do all that stuff. So, I'll be back a little bit later. Alrighty, here we go. On the right side. See this uh, Christian Chapel truck here on the left? just as they come into the truck stop here they got it right there they usually have chapel there at night I like that I'm a Christian man I like to go to chapel every once in a while you at your destination on the right side Petro Rochelle number 359 all right here we are I'm gonna go fuel up with the expensive fuel today because I think I'm doing better on fuel. I filled up with it a while back ago, so uh, and then I did. Proceed to the highlighted route. Did better on fuel mileage. So, oh crap! This pump is out of service. So I have to go back. They should have something standing in the middle here. They just got a little tiny sign there, right where you slide in the cart, where where it says the pump is out of service. I don't know why they could put a better sign up here, but... Oh well, I guess we'll just have to wait for another pump to clear or something like that. And that way I can go fuel up. Hopefully it won't be too long before I can get in the slot over here and fuel up. We are all done fueling up. Taking a shower, got me a new haircut. I shave. I'm all ready to roll. Putting the seatbelt on. And I'm ready to go. Let's go. Make some more miles today. Just waiting to get uh, one guy beside me here is just walking across here. Just waiting for him to cross out of my way so I can go. But here we go. Here we are. Yeah, it's fairly windy up here today, but uh, no, it's okay. It's blowing out of the west, which I'm going sort of south, southeast, so that doesn't seem to bother me too much, you know. But uh, all right, I guess we'll go. This guy is letting me go, so that way. Turn left on to the metro, here. and then. Turn left at 600 feet. Anyways, we'll uh, keep our rolling, rolling. We'll see you in a little bit. All right, I am done for today. Had a pretty good day of driving today. As you can see over there, I got the uh, TA up there. I got the Flying J. I am at the uh, Flying J truck stop right now. And uh, I'm calling it a day. I got only about 540 miles to go tomorrow and then I'll be at my delivery place but uh, hey that's not a bad day's worth of driving yeah we got the truck wash over there I am in uh, Effingham Illinois right now so I know today is probably a little different than you guys are used to but uh, hey 
you gotta try different things right so uh, anyways we'll cut this for today we'll see you guys again tomorrow at 5 a.m so thanks for watching